Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, December 21, 2021. Yes, another Truscott. This is the, the baby brother or the baby sister of our 19 and a half foot super iconic Truscott runabout. This utility which is 18 and a half feet, came to us from the northern tip of Illinois, thanks to Frank Mole, Frank Mole Transport. He does all of our transport work. I wouldn't entrust our boats to anybody else. The really neat thing is that Frank stopped at Loadmaster trailer company on the way back so they could measure her for a trailer that will be the exact match albeit smaller than the trailer they're building for the big Truscott. This boat has been in temperature and humidity controlled storage for a long long time. It's difficult to tell how long but we're told at least to the early, since the early 80s. All of the hardware is intact and original. The railing, and if you remember the railing on the, on Big Brother is repeated because it's a runabout, is repeated behind and on top of the engine hatch. But take a look at her. She's just in exquisite, physical condition. Cosmetics, well, not so good, but we'll take care of that. We'll be removing all the hardware, all the trim, and sending it off to our go-to friend in Holyoke, Mass, Mickey Dupuy, DNS Custom Metal Restoration. And Mickey, you're going to, I'm afraid, have a bit of challenge here. It seems that somebody tangled with a, a dock or a post and lost it sometime but I know you guys can take care of it I don't know about this horn that's up here um, I'm guessing this is a six volt system she's powered by a 1947 Chrysler Crown M27S that will be transported to Robert Hinkle, Peter Hinkle Incorporated, Marine City, Michigan, next week. The upholstery is original, all the hardware is original, all the planking is original, the stern pole, yes, original. We have one challenge for our upholsterer. We're really hoping he can make that hurt go away so that we can retain all of this original upholstery and yes she, she's got a garwood steering wheel remember garwood failed in 1947 and sold out to truscott and truscott took all the offsets all the lines all the jigs and made pleasure boats again after having not done so since uh, World War, since the beginning of World War I. They had their own gauge system. You notice that gauge, that tack says Truscott right in the middle. The linoleum flooring, I'm guessing is original given the condition of the rest of the boat. That cushion, no. And that cushion over there, no. So our upholster has a bit of a challenge at that point. But I can't wait to start working on her. Splash her next spring. So big brother and little brother, or big sister and little sister, can go romping through Lake Champlain.
So as you can see, other than a little bit of sheen, and we've already taken the scraper to it right here, the, on the Kielsen, the bilge is absolutely dry. She has her original linoleum flooring. Ah, we're going to have a little bit of a challenge there because over on the starboard side, right next to the uh, seat base, uh, the plywood has delaminated a little bit. But we'll pull it apart and see if we can glue it back together. We'd really like to save as much of the original and originality of this boat as we can. I will be sending these wonderful gauges off to Shauna Whiting. For restoration but she tells me there Truscott used something called AC gauges about which I know precious little uh, but I'm trying to learn uh, we are not going to replace the guts of these gauges with modern alternatives her garwood wheel is really in beautiful beautiful shape and as her ceilings uh, we use a vinyl cleaner that just brings this up to as new condition. And as I said, and it is always the case, all of the trim, hardware, windshield, frames, deck, trim, step pad frames, garwood fender hangers, garwood vents. All of this will go down to Mickey Dupuy at DNS Custom Metal Restoration in Holyoke, Massachusetts. And it'll come back looking like Jewelry. And as you can see, our top sides, other than some pretty sparkly varnish, um, we'll strip all that to bare wood. But the planking really is in great shape. Uh, we've gone over and over and over trying to find a loose fastener without success. Her chine plank is excellent on both sides there is a little bit of evidence that we had a a beaver or a wood boat restoration guru digging some goop into that spot so we'll have a little work to do on that corner but the transom planks are perfect there's just nothing Nothing wrong with them. I don't find this through hull particularly exciting. We'll see what we're going to do there. Stern pole, original to the boat. The burgy pole, original to the boat. All of this planking, original to the boat. It's only ever so slightly cupped in a couple of spots, like right there, just a little bit. Um, the bottom is almost as new, but we'll flip her over and release all those bottom planks and the canvas that will be between them and the interior, what I call the herringbone interior skim and uh, we're going to do our level best not to put a 5200 bottom on this boat I would like to save her as she left the Truscott factory 
The uh, inner planking uh, is really in superb condition. We've crawled, well, I should say we, uh, Rick crawled way up forward here. Everything in there looks great. Uh, we've got, it must have found something hard once. And uh, that's not my idea of a repair, but probably not yours either. But we'll, we'll fix that. So with that, we welcome you to our 1947 18 and a half foot Truscott utility. And we will be pulling things apart relatively soon. Uh, I don't think we'll leave that oil pressure gauge there. And we'll keep you up to, bait, up to date as we finish the preservation of little brother, sister, and big brother, sister of the Truscott family. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.